Hey, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning back to Chaos Culture Radio. Um, Sometimes we cover certain topics and things that are on our mind. And I wanted to talk about the truth about black men. I've been noticing in my travels, there's a big misconception about who black men are, what black men stands for, the image that are portrayed on the media. A lot of it are false. There's false narratives that's being spewed amongst people in our own community and people from other communities. I'm just here to just shut the record straight. So y'all can get an important understanding, something that's often misunderstood. Now, I'm going to tell you the truth about black men, and I hope you can stick around. Um, because we're about to break down the stereotypes and shed some light on real stories that often get overshadowed. Let's get into it. Now, for the most part, I want you to understand the present. We have to take the look at the past and up to the future. Black men have a rich history of resilience and contribution. Dating back to the times of great African empires like Mali and Songhai, fast forward to the civil rights movements, where leaders like Martin Luther King Jr., Malcolm X, have fought timelessly for equality. These historical figures paved the way for today's black men, but their stories are often reduced to a few pages in history books. It's time that um, we give them recognition that they deserve. Now, I want to talk about stereotypes and um, black men have always been portrayed in a certain light in movies and um, books and stuff like that. And in, in the news, especially in the news, where they all views us as gangsters or hoodlums and stuff like that, which is all false. And I just, you know, what I mean, it, it's nasty in a sense, but, you know, what I mean? I, let's we have to talk about it. So the media has a nasty habit of portraying black men in negative light, thugs, athletes, and entertainers, which we're all not. But the reality is so much more diverse. Black men are doctors, lawyers, scientists, entrepreneurs, their fathers, mentors, community leaders. The truth is black men are all not monolith. They have a wide range of experience, talents, and dreams. And it's time we start to recognize that. I'm seeing this particularly for women in our own community. Because they all bunch us up in the one group because we have a few bad apples. You know what I mean? Especially even when it comes to dating. Now, mind you, black men are no different than white, Hispanic, or Asian men. We all have our challenges. Our challenges are different. Some might be worse than others. Now, let's not ignore the challenges that black men face, systematic barriers that others might not even notice, from racial profiling to the disparity in education and employment. Even me, in my own experience, um, not being able to get the type of jobs that I want. I'm not blaming that on anybody, but I'm just saying that, you know, I've been to college and and I still struggle to get the type of money and employment that I dream of now the deck can feel stacked against them but here's the thing despite all the challenges black men continue to push forward proving time and time again that we are capable of overcoming adversities and that's really a true testament of that we are overcoming adversities even when we have the deck stacks against us now a lot of us like to celebrate losses I like to celebrate our wins, especially our success. So I want y'all to celebrate the success that we have made over time. From Barack Obama to LeBron James to Jay-Z to even Dr. Ben Carson, who is a known conservative. And I know y'all might not like him because he worked with Trump and stuff like that. But black men has excelled in so many fields and manageable. Back to Ben Carson, he is a uh, a neo-surgeon which is one of the most difficult things to be. But here's the thing. Success isn't just fame and fortune. It's all about everyday victories. You know who I'm talking about. A lot of y'all in the ghetto. A lot of y'all in rural towns. 
who make your things happen, who are um, everyday fathers, who provide a service to our community. These are the everyday victories I'm talking about. But here's the thing also. Black men who starts his own business, who mentors young boys in their communities, who breaks the cycles of poverty and builds a better future for his family. These are stories that's just important, that deserve to be told. There's a young guy, by the, I think he's in Albany, Georgia or something. He started a school for young boys. I think it's Albany or something and did it with his own money, teaching boys life skills and stuff. These things are not talked about. Or the fathers or the bunch of fathers in Louisiana who has stopped a bunch of violence happening. That never been told and to get swept under the rug. So now, so what does the future hold for black men? With the rise of social media movement and a greater push for equality, there's a hope that the next generation of black men will face fewer barriers and more opportunities. But it's all up to us to make the reality. And it's all up to you, Queens, on how you present yourself and talk about the men that belongs to you on these social media platforms. You know what I mean? Talking negative about us and disrespecting us ain't going to get us nowhere. And I know you might say, oh, y'all talk about bad about us as women, but we don't, we're not talking about it. They doesn't represent the whole group of black men. I just want to point that out. Now, there are certain key things as far as for the future, supporting black businesses, mentoring young boys, challenging the stereotypes when you see them. Together, we can create a world where black men are celebrated for who they truly are and not always accusing of what they have done negatively. So I'm just saying this from the bottom of my heart that I care about the image of black men I care about how black men are being represented. I care about black, how the stories are being told by black men, by other people who are not black, and, and by men who are, are black that are not uplifting, supportive, and that is not going to inspire the next generation of black men. I mean that with the bottom of my heart. So I made this to break the stereotypes. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is the relationship black men have with black women, which is a troubling situation. And I don't want y'all to let social media divide us. And I don't want you to let other personal experiences divide us as well. A lot of us would take what somebody went through and internalize it and blanket that as every black man is doing it, which is not the case. A lot of us are not putting our hands on our women. A lot of us are not leaving kids, not taking care of them. You have a few bad apples just in any other race. And I'm saying this to you. What can you do to help us get together? And a lot of it has to do is the way you view things and being able to go out there and see black men in its whole entirety and not from your own lens because of a few bad experience. So I wrote, I made this video to say that I just want to break the stereotypes and help create a better image for black men amongst society, the media, and in front of black women. So I want to thank y'all for watching. Like and subscribe. Drop a comment. Tell me what you think about the video. I try not to make this long for y'all. And this is Chaos Coach